Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Amy, and we're Camping Companions. Today, we're gonna give you a tour of our camper, both inside and out. Our camper is a 2018 Avenger ATI Model 27 RBS, and we tow it with our 2015 GMC Sierra 1500 double cab. RBS stands for rear bathroom setup, which means we got the master bedroom up front, bathroom in the back. Our Avenger clocks in at 6,500 pounds dry weight, can also carry an additional 2,900 pounds, which puts it close to our towing capacity on the truck, which will tow 9,200. Our Avenger has front pass-through storage, which anyone knows if you've owned a camper, it gets filled up very fast, goes all the way across, also under the bed flips up, which we'll show you once we get inside. A lot of room, but you have a lot of cargo to bring. We also have a rear kitchen outside. And we were pretty excited when we bought the camper. It's got our sink, it's got a pull out grill. You just flip the switch, pull out. It has convenient access to the propane up front from down below and a little dorm size fridge. Uh, we've noticed we carry a lot of water in ours when we travel and when we come to a stop it tends to just spill out. So we bought a little baby lock to keep on here. Just open her up and as you can see uh, we haven't really um, done a whole lot with it since we've been back. Uh, they've all toppled over. So the one thing we noticed as far as the sink goes, it's not a very convenient location. You have to almost walk up to the camper to use the sink. <laughs> um, so one of those things you just wanna kinda of check out in advance when you're looking at your next rig. On the opposite side, we've got our double wide slide. Inside, you'll find the couch and the dinette, which we'll get to. Uh, it's really nice, opens up the space great. You'll see as it's coming out here, we've got windows on both ends. Once all the windows are open on a day like today, you get a wonderful breeze blowing through. One thing that we did notice, it does not come with a slide awning. So you can purchase them separately. They're not cheap. We found a extendable ladder at a garage sale actually, uh, and we have a broom. We sweep ours off after our trips just to make sure we don't have any twigs that could damage the rubber gasket seal that goes around the outside. You definitely wanna do either one. You don't wanna leave those up there while you're putting the slide back in. Up front, you'll find the battery. It does come with two 20 gallon propane tanks. They do not come covered. We purchased the cover off of Amazon. It was about $30, I think, well worth it. Don't listen to the reviews. It does not blow off in high wind. We've carried this thing on many trips. It stays in there snug. The one splurge we did, uh, we switched over from the manual tongue jack to the power jack, which is well worth the money. Saves your arms, saves your sweat. It's amazing. Makes life so much easier when you're setting up and tearing down. We also got a emergency brake coil cable. They come with just a regular stiff cable. Uh, we like the way this one looks. It cleans up, it stores away nicer. They're only like eight bucks on Amazon as well. And we also decided to go with a level, which was actually designed for a fifth wheel. We kind of tore apart and just screwed it onto the front and it works with wonders. Makes knowing which side is higher or lower a breeze. You learn a lot from fellow campers. One of the little simple tricks that we found when you're putting up and down the stabilizing jacks, we bought a $20 drill from Harbor Freight. Keep it in the camper. You just slip it on the front and it makes life so much easier. Come on inside, we'll show you the interior. Coming inside, you'll notice the wood look floors makes it very pretty. There's our dinette, our seating areas. Off to the left, you'll see our kitchen with our sink, oven, microwave, fridge freezer, our entertainment center, 
And what's sold us, I believe, on this rig is the bathroom. We have plenty of storage on the left. Walk right into the sink. We have our shower and of course the commode down below, but the shower for a camper shower is huge. Going all the way up to the front then, we'll have the bedroom. Coming back through the camper towards the front, as I mentioned, is the bedroom. Has your queen size bed. We have a full size mattress in ours. We love it, saves your back. Does have storage on both sides. You'll notice that they have the closets to hang clothes on either end along with storage across the top. And as I had mentioned, the under seat storage from the outside, you just lift up the bed and there we go. See the pass through all the way out. We keep our tables and such, a little spare tool set. Makes things really handy if anything goes wrong. And as I had mentioned before, really opens up the space when you have the slide out. Another selling feature we really enjoyed about this is the sofa bed. It's not your typical jackknife. It actually is a complete full pull out bed. Um, just like your sleeper sofas you'd have in your house. Um, it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more spacious. Uh, it's a full size mattress, I believe. And there's definitely still plenty of room to go walk through in the middle of the night if you're getting up to walk around. The dinette also folds down to a bed. We have three kids over the height of six feet tall. This will sleep them. Again, another feature that sold us on this. With our children growing up, we need the space for larger kids. Here's what it looks like folded down into a bed. It's quite comfortable from the reports we've received from our children, and it doesn't have the hard foam like you would think. It's quite soft and comfortable, and our children love it. Not every camper is gonna have all the things that you'd like. So it's nice to put a couple of personal touches on it. So one of the things Kevin and I like to do as we're nodding off to sleep is watch a few minutes of TV. So we installed a 32 inch TV at the end of our bed. The salesman at the RV store was kind enough to offer to install it for us. We also put these over the door hooks up in case we have a sweatshirt that we want to take off after being out at the campfire, we can hang it up here. We also have a set of four of them on our bathroom door to hang towels. We installed a six wine glass wine rack up here under behind our light and we put koozies on the glasses so that they if they clang together they won't break the only place that is magnetic in the kitchen is the range hood so we bought magnetic spices that we keep they're nice and close at hand when we're ready to cook and then on the front we have all the magnets of places that we've stayed Every camper we looked at, the counter space comes at a premium. However, we found that this one is pretty decent. When you're all set up, we have room for our coffee pot, our paper towels, and my little frivolous purchase on ice maker. I enjoy having those icy beverages in the, in the evening when we're watching our campfire, sitting out there talking to friends and not having to go to the camp store to buy bags of ice every time you want them. My wife purchased this large butcher block cutting board from TJ Maxx, I believe, which actually doubles as counter space, which we use. We put it right on top of the, the stove and oven here. It, we prepare our meals, we cut our vegetables. And we also found this really handy magnetic knife strip, which we put on the side next to the fridge. It saves up a lot of drawer space, keeps the knives away, and we've never had a problem with them falling off in the middle of a trip. When considering purchases for the camper, it's nice that you can find something that saves on storage and serves more than one function. So we bought these ottomans. We use them for three things, actually. We use them to kick our feet up when we're watching TV. The lid comes off and it makes for extra storage. If you come over here and set it here in front of the kitchen table, they can be used as extra seating at the table. And when you're done, they fold up into this. Here's the lid. The sides are collapsible. It's got a base and it fits nice and easily next to our pull-out sleeper sofa couch. Now we're going to do our bathroom mods. Like I mentioned earlier, we have the hooks here on the door that hangs towels. 
These campers don't come with a toilet paper holder anymore. So in this storage cabinet, we keep our toilet paper holder. We bought a floor standing unit that we can set right here on the floor. It doesn't block our path when we're walking in the door and it's within easy reach of the toilet. Over here, we have our command hook and our uh, bag of bags. We keep them for when we bring our dog as waste bags. These campers also don't come with a hand towel holder. So we keep ours down here in storage when we're traveling. And when we reach our destination, we have this. We set it right here on the counter within easy reach of the sink so that we can dry our hands after we've washed them. I also didn't like the shower curtain that came with the camper. So I had to go out and put my own touch on this. So we bought this bright, bold, colorful thing because I really enjoy pops of color. It makes it more fun. Um, and we really like this curved shower rod that's here because it gives us more elbow room when we're in the shower. This is the shower head that comes standard in the camper. So we changed ours out to one that you can change the settings on and it also has a shutoff valve to preserve water when you're showering. Under the category of want and need is a water hose. Whether you're going to fill up before you get to your spot or you have full hookups, you need a hose to deliver the water to your camper somehow. You've probably seen those white ones you can get at Walmart or the camping stores, which are great. But when you're trying to ravel them back up, they are a pain, they're clunky, they're huge. The Zero G hose is amazing. It is slightly more expensive, but not by much worth every penny it sinks down into something really small it doesn't kink and you can pretty much store it into like a little storage bin that i've got underneath the the front there you also want to pick up a water filter you can get a two pack for like 20 bucks there one is good for the season and you can swap them out every single year it just keeps your water fresher tastes better and it's not that expensive when it comes to stability and leveling there's a couple things you can do as far as the blocks that you get. You really need to spend the money and buy a really good set of levelers. We bought, they're called Beach Lane is the brand. They're very similar to Anderson levelers. The Beach Lane product, they cost the same, but they're rated for more weight. And we figured might as well go all out and get those as opposed to upgrading at a later time. So the nice thing with these, they do come in a two pack. The they go right underneath your tires. I typically do it so we're pulling forward as opposed to backing up. Um, you put one under each tire, like so. There you are. Um, and then as you get into the truck, pull forward. These will rock up and um, level your camper up to four inches. You can go almost all the way to the end on these things and still have the stability. You don't get the rocking from side to side. We've come to find that these are super easy. Something else you don't need, but we found is really awesome, are x chocks. These go right in between the tires, like so. And it comes with a little handy tool uh, that goes right on top. And you just tighten them on up. This stabilizes the camper from rocking back and forth inside. I don't know how it works. It does, that's the main thing. You just kind of give it a good couple uh, good couple turns once it gets to the end, tighten it on up, and you really notice the difference. You're not gonna get the sway back and forth when you're walking from one end of the camper to the other. The leveling jacks on all the ends, those keep it steady. This keeps it from swaying, and we love it. These were probably about 75 bucks for the pair, one for each side, and it really does make a difference. It's $75 worth spending. When it comes to necessities, when you get to your camp spot, you definitely need chalk blocks. There's a, a million to choose from. We found that the big chunky rubber ones hold up the best. They stop better than the plastic ones you can buy. And they're really not that much more expensive. You just shove them underneath your tires, obviously, front and back. That'll keep you from rolling. And there you have it. That you need to do before you unhook your camper. Otherwise, you can have some serious issues.
What we really like about the RV lifestyle is the freedom to travel wherever we want and bringing our home with us. We love teaching the kids how to travel and about the outdoors and nature and different places other than our own hometown. We hope our kids are going to get into camping with us as a family. Our oldest son already has his own camper and is camping with us now, so three more to go. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to be checking out a lot more campgrounds. We're going to give you a lot more recipes and we have a few more tips and tricks under our sleeves that we can share with you along the way. 